All right, so today we're going to try to fix the zero turn. Uh, I did a little bit of uh, research on the uh, on the construction of this particular one. It's a John Deere 757 with a 60 inch deck. Uh, commercial grade, it even says so. I had to give it a little bit of cleaning with pressure washer because it's been sitting in the garage for a long time. Uh, the previous owner, you know, just wasn't able to care for it, I guess. So we're going to uh, we're going to try to fix one of the belts today uh, that broke off while I was mowing the field last week. Uh, so uh, one of the things that I kind of had uh, discovered through my own research is that this these uh, these drive belts here they move the uh, the blades underneath you see and uh, there's another wheel up underneath there you can see it right there you see this this little thing right here well this is the uh, this is the uh, belt you can't really see it very well but it's up under here this this belt right here this little pulley right here uh, it's from the clutch and for the PTO so uh, it broke uh, I noticed immediately because uh, it wasn't nearly as loud as it was and the blade started to spin down so uh, so I pulled the rest of it out from underneath it and uh, went to the John Deere dealership which is right up the road and asked for a uh, bought a replacement uh, somewhere to the tune of about sixty dollars so uh, what I had read was that this belt feeds around the back of the mower feeds around the back of the mower up onto these pulleys right here you see them spinning there's no belt so they come from up it comes from up there all the way to the back here so I'm gonna try to get a belt onto this I said that it comes up here up underneath this deck there's a there's a pulley in there there's another pulley right here and that's where the belt comes so it's gonna loop up around and then it's gonna come down go up underneath these two wheels and then go forward to drive the deck so we're gonna go ahead and try to get the and uh, hopefully this won't take me too long and I'll have my zero turn back in action and then I can move on to other adventures uh, so here goes nothing okay so that didn't take me nearly as long as I thought it would uh, I did discover some very interesting uh, I did make some very interesting observations so the first off the best thing to do in order to to get this belt on is to uh, to start in the front uh, well I'm probably better to start in the rear let's start in the rear so you've got to loop it <coughs> up over this uh, excuse me up up this uh, wheel here up over this wheel and then don't put it on the lower two pulleys yet the ones I had talked about uh, previously the ones I'd spoken about previously don't do that instead come all the way up here to the front and I actually I made it easier on myself I lowered the deck all the way to the bottom all the way to its lowest setting which is like an inch and a half so I lowered it all the way down it gave me more room to work and it gives you a better view of this wheel here now getting this off is kind of a pain this wheel right here but uh, the spring it's tensioned with a spring you can see back there so you got to pull tension on the spring in order to release this top belt and then uh, loop the loose PTO belt up over top of it and get it in there now once you've done that you can come around to the back and remember the, the, the two pulleys, I was, the two flywheels I was telling you about previously? Okay, here you go. So loop it up over, sorry I lost you. Loop it up over this one first. Loop it underneath this one first. You see how it comes up underneath? So loop it under there first. Now, 
The reason I tell you to do that is because if you grip this and you pull real tight, this pulley right here, this flywheel here, this will actually move. And it made it so much faster. So I grabbed it and I pulled it and it kind of surprised me because it gave way. And there it was, it went right on. So if, uh, if you ever find yourself working on a John Deere tractor, a uh, lawn tractor like this, a 75, uh, 757 John Deere zero turn. Uh, keep in mind that it, uh, some parts move that you didn't think they would. And uh, it made it a whole lot easier for me to do. Uh, anyway, if you like what we're doing out here, if, uh, if you're digging what I'm putting out, so uh, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, click the bottom the, the the thumbs up button on the bottom there because uh, Google likes metrics and uh, we're trying to improve our metrics and we're trying to get some more subscribers so the more people that view it and the more people that subscribe will uh, help us get there so help me help you by putting out more awesome content stuff from around the house and the farm homestead and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.